so byproducts of steel production that they use to fill this well. So we're in this really novel ecosystem. It's, it's never going back to what it was, but because we're on the Buffalo River and we're right next to Lake Erie, which is the big sky out there, um, we're still really valuable ecological place, right? So uh, we're trying to steward this place the best we can, given the crazy conditions that we're starting with, right? So, until this spring, this was a big hump of slag covered in mugwort, which was a, a non-native plant that doesn't feed a whole lot of other parts of the ecosystem. And so uh, we invited an artist in. She designed this labyrinth, which we installed. You can kind of make it out. So it's a labyrinth, and all the spaces between the pathways are among our native pollinator plants. And um, so we're kind of uh, in. And these plants like have really strong smells, and uh, so all these wild, starving urban deer that we have won't eat them, right? So, it's some of the few plants that will survive here, uh, given our conditions. Uh, it's really like native wildflowers that uh, feed pollinators, and they survive deer, and they smell great, and they're beautiful. Where? Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> papers. Everybody can put their paper here. Somebody else get theirs in. You can just okay. even put it into the fire okay. there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> got a lot of stuff to get rid of. Somebody else got a paper in there so it keeps the fire going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah.